Hey everybody, welcome back to Mission Control for a Fixture Focus video. In this video, we're going to talk about fixture order. Fixtures in a group are stored with a selection order, which is used with shapes, fan, and overlap. Fixture order comes initially in the group from the order of the fixtures were selected when creating the group. It can be changed in the group menu, allowing more complex effects. When editing the fixture order, multiple fixtures can have the same order number, which can result in more interesting effects or progression of, say, fixture overlap in a playback or palette. It is often helpful to have multiple groups contain the same fixtures, but with different fixture orders, to allow quick changes in the way the effect or fixture overlap behaves. Note you must press clear to change the fixture order in the programmer. Fixture order can be changed in the playback without affecting the original group. To view or change a group's fixture order, press the group key, press the edit group's soft key, and press fixture order on the soft keys. So let's take a look at that. Here I am on version 15.1 of Titan on the Virtual Hardware Titan Go interface. We can see here I've got about 30 fixtures patched set up with a rear truss, a mid truss, and a front truss. So well as some groups I've already made. If we were to select our fixtures like this and then make a group, and we'll go ahead and hit clear, and we'll select them going like this and also make a group. If we were to Press our group key, then the first group we made, and the fixture order, we can see that it has made the fixture order the order in which we selected the fixtures. If I exit here, select this group, and see its fixture order, we can see it goes from here to here, because that's the order I selected the fixtures in. If I was to select them in the random order, say like this, and then create a group, and we were to check its group order. We see that it does it in the randomized order that I selected them in. To change a group's order, we say we click on the groups key again, edit group, and we'll select this group, and then fixture order. We see here right now this group, as I have it drawn with the arrows, I have it going across the back from right to left, and then across the middle from left to right, and then from the on the front truss from left to right again. You'll see here we've got that there, and then this way, and this way, you can see that I want this group to actually go the opposite way. What we can do here is we can set our step number. In this case, I'm going to set it to 11, and then I can simply click on which one I want to change, and then press next step, which one I wish to change, next step, which one I wish to change. I also turn on auto increment, which means that every time it changes, it'll automatically change for me. So I'm going to start doing that on 14. So let's click 14, see it automatically goes to 15, then 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And now I have the fixture order that I want. So to save that, I can simply exit the group menu, and that is now saved as the fixture order in that group. We can also change multiple fixtures at once. So to show that, we're going to press our group key again, and then edit group, and we'll select this group to edit in its fixture order. And we see that I wanted it to go from the inside out, so I wanted to change all of these, we can turn our auto run off. I want to change all these ones to one. I think pressing that step, I change all these to two and all these to two. Next step, three and three. Next step, four and four. Next step, five and five. Again, simply save it, press exit. So let's see where these fixture orders can help us. So here we've got a playback with just some intensity in it. So if I was to go ahead and set my palette's master time to 5 seconds and my master overlap to 50 seconds, so every time we press a palette, it uses 5 seconds of fade and 50% of overlap. Simply now we can see that if I select this group and fire my no color palette, we can see that it slides across my fixtures like that because I have this fixture order in it. So we'll go ahead and view the fixture order. You can see that it has one here, two, three, four, five, six, going across to ten. If I was to hit clear and then select this group, exit out, and then hit clear, and then select this group and fire my red palette, you can see that it goes from left to right, because it's fixture order. Is one here 
and 10 here. If I was to hit clear, I then select this group and fire all my green palette. You see it goes across the back. Oh, and it goes from left to right on each row, which isn't my intended. So we can edit this group here. So group, edit group, this one, fixture order. And we see that I wanted it to go 11 from 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30. So I have auto increment on and set my first step to 11. I can then just drag select across here and see that it automatically made it 11 through 20. Exit out to save it. We'll hit clear. We'll select that group again and we'll fire our blue palette and see that it goes through the fixtures as intended. When fixtures have the same order number, you can get other effects like this. Like we'll have select this one here. We'll see if we fire our no color palette, it moves from the back to the front of our trusses. Then we can see the fixture order in that one. So we'll press group, edit group, select this one, fixture order, and we see that we have it one, two, and three to give it coming across our trusses from rear truss to front truss. Or I can have stuff go from the outside to in like we have here. So we'll clear it, we'll select this group, and we'll fire our green palette and see that it starts on the outside and moves in. Or we hit clear and select our other group, you see that it takes it from the outside from the inside to the outside. Fixture order can also be changed in a queue or queue list. To change a queue's fixture order, simply press edit times on the soft key, then press fixture order, or we can view the queue, press the open size view key, then the queue select button. Click on the fixture overlap column and press fixture order on the soft keys. So let's have a quick look at that. So if we wanted to view the fixture order in this kilo here, we can simply hit edit times, select our playback, and then find a fixture order on our soft keys, click it, and set it to be what we want. If this is perfect, we can go ahead and exit it and see that if we fire this playback, since it has fixture overlap put in it, it follows that fixture overlap. We can also change it by pressing the open size view key and selecting our queue. And then we can set its fixture overlap and then choose fixture order and change it here if we want it. To show that, we'll do that real quick. So we'll change it from the, from the instead of going the outside in, from the inside out. So we'll make those all two mixed up. Once we have that, we can just exit out close it and now we'll see if we fire this it starts from the inside and moves to the outside instead of the opposite way to view or change a queue list fixture order view the queue list the open size view key then the queue select button select which queue you wish to edit click on the fixture overlap column for that queue then press fixture order on the soft keys so let's have a look at that so to view this queue list fixture order here we can hit the open size view key the blue select button of our queue list. Say so I wanted to edit the fixture order on Q3, I can simply click on its column and then find fixture order and then change it. Say so instead of this one going from front to back, we wanted it to go from uh, back to front. So we do it here, change it here to one. That'll still be our two. We'll make these ones all three. And to save it again, just exit it out. And we'll close it here. And we'll bring up our key list and hit go. So this one, it goes from the front to the back. Hit go. Same from the front to the back. But now when we hit go on Q3, we'll see it starts in the back and moves to the front. And when we go to Q4, it goes back to the way it was before. Set up in fixture order in version 15.1 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Avalites US. Join us here. Next time, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.